Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're going to be talking about the 2018 NFL Scouting Combine, uh, specifically looking at the edge rushers in the group. Uh, so this video, we're going to be looking at all the players who are seen as either 4-3 defensive ends or 3-4 outside linebackers or 4-3 Sam linebackers. Uh, so a lot of different guys, but realistically, it's players that are going to be edge rushers in their career, at least going to be guys that are going to rush the passer versus guys that are going to be full service uh, pursuit linebackers or full service other types of uh, positions, if you will. Um, so that's what this video is really going to focus in on. And we're going to be going over a lot of different data points and different things. So if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you don't know what a, what a explosive lower body strength score is, a speed score or a flexibility score, all that information is going to be in the description. But the only thing you really need to know is the explosive lower body strength score or EXP score on the chart is essentially the vertical and broad jump measured against mass density and then that is then compared to every single edge performance in that particular metric since the 1999 NFL draft class. The speed score is the 40 yard dash measured against mass density which is weight divided by height measured against every single player since 1999 and then the flexibility score is the short shell size 3 cone measured against mass density which essentially is a is about balance. Um, the more balance and more core strength you have in terms of your lower body, uh, you know, you're basically players who test really well in terms of the short shell and three count have really great balance, really great ability to maintain uh, their, uh, uh, you know, their ability to keep their feet, if you will. And it's a very, very important trait. Uh, we're going to be looking at short shell and three count individually as well, just to give some red flags and no, not so red flags on certain different guys but um, bottom line is let's get to the data here so uh, looking at the edge performances um, unfortunately there's a lot of missing information uh, and this happens every single year uh, players don't really go through all the drills that they should go through and it gets really frustrating <laughs> but uh, this is what we got so far so in terms of guys who tested relatively well with some minor flags and we'll get to those flags towards the end in terms of some of these guys but Bradley Chubb had a pretty decent day at the combine had a 90.70 explosive lower body strength score 91.95 speed score and a 7.8 flexibility score there are some concerns with the short shell and his three cone which we'll, which I'll get to towards the end but other than those minor uh well, maybe not minor but other than those yellowish flag concerns Bradley Chubb did have a fairly decent day at the Combine uh, overall, when you look at his overall data. Uh, and then, of course, you look at Harold Landry. Um, he, by far, is one of those guys who also had uh, probably the best Combine out of everybody here. Uh, 76.97 in terms of explosive lower body strength score, 86.31 in terms of speed, and then 97.40 in terms of flexibility for his size. Um, with his production profile, in 2016 and this athleticism testing I think it's easy to see that Harold Landry should be considered at least from a data perspective he should be considered the top edge rusher just from purely numbers perspective he should be that guy even though there are some concerns in terms of his injury history and, and uh, other sort of things and then uh, Josh Sweat of course had a pretty good day as well in terms of uh, explosiveness 85.27 in terms of explosive lower body strength score 92.06 uh, in terms of his uh, speed score. And then we get to... Who else had it very good? Marcus Davenport, of course, 66.45 in terms of explosive lower body strength score, 93.42 in terms of speed, 73.1 in terms of flexibility for his size. Pretty good testing day from Davenport. Not as impressive as everybody's been making it out to be because you can clearly see he didn't have 90 plus percentile across the board testing. He had 90 plus percentile speed and then he had above average explosiveness and above average flexibility. So I would say Davenport is definitely a good athlete. He's just not a amazing athlete. Like he's not a gotta have it top 10 athlete. He just isn't that type of dude. Uh, and then of course when you get to Peter Kalambayi from Stanford, he had a good day as well in terms of uh, explosiveness, speed, and then flexibility. Shaquem Griffin, I just added here just for fun because... I've always considered him to be a 4-3 a Sam linebacker guy, you know, a guy that to rush the passer, go sideline to sideline and 
mess stuff up and put up a really impressive speed score. And that's really about it. So getting to the concerns with the short shuttle and the three count. <clears throat> Based on data since the 1999 NFL draft class, every single all pro edge rusher had at least a 7 three cone or less or a 4.34 short shuttle or less. And this is guys like Jared Allen, uh, Von Miller, uh, any multiple all pro edge rusher you're thinking about since 1999 hit these particular numbers or less. Pro bowlers had 7.37 or less and short shuttle was 4.47 or less. Now you're gonna hear a lot of people talking about Bradley Chubb and saying that you should take him off your board, you should, <laughs> you should put him into a bucket and light it on fire uh, whatever you want to like people very hyper hyperbolic statements have been made about Bradley Chubb based on his uh, uh, his balance testing what I know is this does this take Bradley Chubb out of all pro potential status yes I think based on the flexibility testing the balance testing I think this definitely does take Bradley Chubb out of the discussion as a top 10 pick not necessarily a top 10 player, but just in the sense of a player, player in my general idea of the top 10, you take players that have a very good shot of becoming a multiple all pro type player in terms of picking a guy in the top 10. And Bradley Chubb has a 0% chance of becoming that type of dude. Has a 0% chance of becoming like a Von Miller, a Jared Allen, uh, any of those other types of guys. But, but, I think if you look at his overall profile, you look at his production profile, which if you go back to the videos I've made, you know, just type in Bradley Chubb analytics, you'll find my video in terms of uh, him as a player. Pretty, pretty amazing in terms of his overall production. You look at his above average explosiveness, his above average speed. And I think this is a guy that should be considered a player that could become a top 10 to top 15, 16 ish edge rusher at the next level. To basically become like a Jadavian Clowney type, because Jadavian Clowney had very similar concerns. Clowney was a better athlete overall, though. However, Clowney and, and Chubb do share, share similarities in terms of not being the most balanced of edge rushers. However, that doesn't take away the fact that these are two guys that should be considered one of the, some of the best edge rushers in this class. So that's just my two cents about uh, Bradley Chubb, because. Again, there's a lot of backlash. There's a lot of people. And the crazy thing to me, guys, as a guy that's been a member of Draft Twitter for a while, in the institution of following the Combine for a while, is, is every year we get guys that either don't test well in terms of the agility drills and end up being okay players when everybody else thought they should just be gone, like just ignore it. Like, like with Clowney, you know, his agility testing came in and everybody said, oh, well, Clowney, you know, you shouldn't take Clowney. He's not going to be a good player. He's going to be a bust. Obviously, Clowney isn't a bust. And I think what I, all I'm saying is, is I think with Chubb, this does mean that he's not necessarily going to be a special, a Hall of Fame level edge rusher. But then again, based on tape, he wasn't really a Hall of Fame level, level edge rusher anyways. But it does give you the perspective that when you're valuing this guy in the draft just remember that the ceiling is not sky high there is a ceiling here and you just have to take that into account if you're considering drafting him you know more higher than you would expect but that is pretty much it um red flags so on the right side um you'll see things that talk about uh, red flags. These red flags essentially are picking up on the things that I was talking about, whether it was a short shuttle, um, whether it was a three cone. Um, I think you can pretty much get a gander in terms of who doesn't look very well in terms of data, but this is just a general EXP means they put up an explosive lower body strength score that's not indicative of a special edge rusher. SPD means they didn't put up a speed score indicative of a special edge rusher. And then SS is short shuttle, meaning they put up a short shuttle that's not indicative of a, of a high quality um, edge rusher. So that is, uh, again, those are just the main sort of uh, 
uh, concerns, red flags, whatever you want to call them. Um, so you can look at the list here. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment below. Um, I know this is a lot of players, there's a lot of information. We're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about over the next couple months uh, before the draft actually gets here. Um, but this is just a general primer to give you an idea of, okay, this is how the guys performed at the Combine. And I will get into a little bit more detail on these guys um, as we get closer to the NFL draft. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. If you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!